Hello my friends, Larry here from Larry's Fountain Pen Reviews and I am back with a very interesting cool review. I am going to be showing you some of my line of pelicans that I have uh, collected that I enjoyed to use. But uh, I also have a pelican that is on loan to me from a friend of mine, Dr. Nathan Holstein. Uh, he has the Pelican M1000, and here's what it looks like. Now, th this is the 1000. Really, they're, they're one of my favorite all-time pens. They look good. They feel great in the hand. Uh, what I like about the Pelicans is... Uh, the nib exchange, you just unscrews out and put another one in. It also makes it easier to clean the uh, piston filler. So those are a lot of pluses. I love that uh, clip on it, the Pelican clip. So, excuse me, all that is uh, cool. Uh, Pelican, in my opinion, is just a good brand for a fountain pen. I, I like the size. Perfect size. I like the girthiness of this pen. Uh, there's nothing that I don't like about this pen. I have spent uh, many hours writing with my Pelicans. Uh, this one is a little bit different because I don't have a fine nib. And uh, my buddy has a fine nib, so he let me use this pen so I can get this review done to show you the difference Pelicans that I have and the different nip sizes that I have. Now, my nip sizes are all medium, except for this one. That's why I got the this pen because it has a fine nib, and I just wanted to see how it feels when I write with it, and then show you the rest of the line. How's that for a Saturday evening on February the eighth? at 4.44 p.m. So, almost time for dinner. Yeah, the, the weather's been crazy here. Uh, the other day they were expecting snow and ice. Didn't happen. And then, like, right now the temperature is hitting 62. The high is going to be 64. So it's been, like, in the low 30s, upper 60s. So, well, that's Texas weather for you. So what I'm going to do for my writing example, then I'll do pin comparisons. Uh, I'm going to be using the Malachite by Euchres. Thank you, Mr. Announcer, getting involved in there. One of my favorite color inks, a really nice ink from Euchres. They put out some really great inks. So, if you're interested in the Euchre lines of inks, you want to check out their website, Euchres. Right? Yes, Y O O K E R. Yes. Yes. Sorry. So, so first I tell you what. Let's do ahead and do some comparison first. What do you say about that? Here we go. My good friends. Here we go. Here is the Pelican M1000. Now this has the, the gold trim hardware, which I prefer the gold trim over the silver trim. Just a preference. Uh, resin body and then next one is going to be the I get these in the line here Pelican the 815 also a resin body and you can see the length differences there and then we have the Pelican Eight hundred. Again, resin body, and then we go with the Pelican M six hundred. It's an acrylic resin, and then we go down to the Pelican M two hundred five. See how the sizes go 
they get a little shorter. And then this is the Pelican P55. So on these pins, I picked this one up at Apple Boom, Apple Boom, Apple Boom. And then I picked this one up at Antique Digger. Greg, I mean, this pen is rock solid. Thank you very much. If y'all never heard of Antique Digger, uh, that's Gregory. You might want to check out his website. He sells pens. He restores pens and sells them. And he does one heck of a job. He's really an honest guy. Uh, he really does some great work on your pens. He takes care of them. Uh, and he's good for it. The man is just, uh, in my opinion, one of my favorite all-time uh, restorers. Uh, he's one of them. So check him out and see what you can find there. He's got a lot of cool vintage as well. And now this one is the Pelican 205. With the silver. And I picked this one up from uh, Pinscription.com, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, they're they're rather new to the uh, fountain pen world. In fact, I got that I think last year. Uh, so, really a nice writer still nib. Then, I was looking on eBay for a another Pelican, something different. So, and I found the P fifty five plastic. So let me back up here again, and we'll go through this again. The 1,000 will come out at 5.8 inches closed. When you post it, it's going to be 6.9 inches. And then we come down to the Pelican 815. And... Uh, Closed, it comes in at 5.6 inches. And then when you post it, beautiful dabs, right? Okay, let's get my notes here. It's going to be 6.5 inches. Oh, and the weight is 37 G's for the 815, and for the 1000, the weight's going to be 35. G's. So 35 G's again for the M1000. For the 815 is the weight is going to be 37 G's. And let's go down to the M800. Now it's going to be closed 5.6 inches but when you post it it's going to be 6.5 inches. And then the weight of this is going to be 29 G's. And next is going to be the M600. And it's an acrylic resin. Well, we have the gun. So closed, as you see it right here, is going to be 5.2 inches. Post, it's going to be 6.1 inches. And the weight. It's going to be 18 G's. Going down to the M205. Nice looking color. Resin. And it's a small pen, but it's a it's really a neat little pen. Uh, Close is 4.9 inches. And then when you post it, it's going to be 5.8 inches with a weight of 14 G's. And it's a full-size pen, very comfortable in the hand. And I'll leave this posted last but not least. It's going to be the Pelican P55. And uh, it's plastic and rubber, and the length closed is 5.4 inches. Posted, it's going to be 6.1 inches. And then the weight of this pen is 11.7 G's. 
Uh, now this pen, you, you can use a converter or a cartridge filler. The other five are all piston fillers. So. So there you have it. The different size pins, the nibs, and I really do like the way Pelican makes their nibs and the way they look. Uh, you know, they have the Pelican uh, the logo on here. They just look really sharp. I like it. I prefer the gold over the silver plated so that's just a preference so uh so i got a green i got that black one and i got that blue then i got another green a blue and then a blue so what's my favorite color blue i thought so there you have it on the lengths on the weight and the nibs as you can clearly see so now let's take a minute and put these back on so we can get to the writing and again I'm just going to dip the pen in the ink and just do the fine nib and you know the another pelican that I want to get one day got willing is that newest one they put out that brown one with the gold trim yeah, I've been wanting that, God knows, for a long time. One day, God willing, I'll have it. So, let me come over here and make sure this is the fine nib. It is. And this is my 1000. This is Dr. Nathan's 1000, and that's mine. Okay, we're going to set these aside. And I guess I'll use some, uh, where is it, I think I'm going to use here, right here, I think I'll use some Rhodia dot grid paper. And again, Mr. Announcer, this is what kind of ink? Euchre's Malachite. There you go. And just for the heck of it, let me show you real quick how easy it is to take the nibs off. Finger here, thumb right here. And it just twists right on off. There you go. So it's easy to clean. And the nib exchange on these are really simple. And I'm glad to see that more pins are doing this now. It makes, for me, I like the screw in, screw out type. Much better than the friction fit. Yeah, all that stuff. So anyway, okay. So here we go. All right. You know, it's getting close to set the time here in Fort Worth, Texas. What do you think, Mr. Announcer? Uh, that sounds good to me. So, and let me just clean that off real quick. Find it. And the ink that I'm using. I do like the fine nib. Now we'll do the wet test on it. It does lay down the ink. Very nice. I do like the fine nib. Sweet. I think when I get my next one, God willing, the brown one, uh, the 800 that's 
I think came out last year maybe. I'll probably get a fine nib on it. And really just do a cute little swirls there. It's got some really great ink flow. There's no problem with the ink flow. There's no ink starvation. They're just a continuous rod. They're just a really fabulous nib. It's the, the flagship. The, the M1000 Pelican is the flagship for Pelican. Great humongous nib. I, I believe that. Don't get me I could be wrong. I think this is a an eight maybe if you uh know for sure leave the comments below but i believe this could be a size eight reverse writing and it does And when I do the reverse writing in my reviews, it's very light. I don't put hardly any pressure at all because I don't want to mess the nib up. And next I don't uh, use uh, the reverse writing myself, but I know people have told me that they use it for crossword puzzles. So, downstroke and crossstroke. And that's a fine nib. So, here it is. This beautiful Pelican, the flagship, the M1000, with a fine 18K gold nib. Just a magnificent fountain pen. You know, Germany puts out some really fantastic fountain pens. I love the workmanship they put into this pen. Folks, that's going to take care of it for today. I hope you found this review interesting. If you did, please do me that one favor and hit that like button. If you're new to my channel and you just found me, you can subscribe to this channel just hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit the little bell and that's going to notify you when i put up a review so i think it's time to close shop and get dinner started but then uh my next review is going to be on the parker parker uh it's a vintage fountain pen so you want to Keep your eyes for that one. It's going to be the Parker, I believe, GT. Uh, I've had, I forgot the rest of it. But it's going to be a, a cool review. Uh, let's do it. Hope you enjoyed the review. review. I hope I didn't bore you. I hope you got something out of this review. That's my whole point. I'm trying to give you all the information. I can to help you make that step the yay or nay should I or shouldn't I those are big steps when you're buying fountain pens take care God bless and remember my friends don't text and drive school's out later <laughs>